thousands of firearms issued to soldiers during November 2017 coup that ousted long-time President Robert Gabriel Mugabe have flooded the streets of Zimbabwe, following a surge in armed robberies and violent crime. Sanabu na masho kwa atuna kutu aiwa, tuidi zinozi kano watu aiwa zahapu wa masoja, panguwa ya coup inozi kano katika mkia Zimbabwe mpura 2017 pakabiso RG Mugabe, zahapu nzi azina kuzo sero futi zozo. Futi zozo, lozo rusha niso kutu ama armed robberies, mkawona chitu kwa chikaitika mvula wayo, wa mkawona wakuma na aiwa wa Chiroba uh, Iko Bengi. Pana apa, tunuona kutu futi zozo zi tungo zika mkuti, kandu zaka registe wa, manu watu rishio kutu aiwa, those are the sum of my fire. I'm Sana Bina Mashua, I'm Mbuda Nyoko, Pana Mbuda Subscribe, Ola, Ikotron, The Bele, Kutipi na Mbuda Mchinzi, these military uh, grade weapons distributed during the operation that uh, uh, catapulated Emerson Managawa into power remain largely unaccounted for, with authorities struggling to recover them. Despite efforts to regain control of the situation, including multiple uh, amnesties, the government has only managed to retrieve a, f a fraction of the firearms handed out to soldiers and military intelligence personnel during the coup. The failure to recover these weapons has led to a spike in gun-related crimes, making a marking one of the worst crime waves in Zimbabwe's modern history. Insiders within the security sector have received a revealed that thousands of assault rifles and other firearms provided to soldiers during the coup were never returned, uh, leaving the streets awash with the deadly weapons. Thomas, when I'm going to open our jeans, I want to go and go to the church. I want to 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 go to the church.